Okay, so I recently got this 14 and a half inch air precision upper. It's got a uh, Surefire War Comp pin and welded to make it 16 inches. And uh, what I'm gonna try, I was gonna try to get a mid-length, but all they had in stock for the uh, primary arm sale was the carbine link. So I started doing some research on buffers and uh, gas link systems for this um, length upper. So uh, pretty much what I found is to smooth it out, maybe use a heavy buffer or see if you can use an H2. You just gotta make sure pretty much the bolt locks back. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna shoot this standard buffer that came with the lower, the heavy, and the H2, and uh, see which one uh, works, uh, helps with the recoil the most, and still locks back the bolt. All right, let's see what we can do. Okay, first up, standard weight buffer. Okay, next we got the heavy buffer, just marked with an H. Alright, this is the heavy buffer marked H2. Okay, so it looked like we had uh, good luck with all three buffers as far as locking back. I think the H2 definitely shot the smoothest and it locked back using this Wolf 223 55 grain. So if it locks back with this, it should be fine on XM193 or M855. So what we're going to do, I'm going to run three more mags through. If all three of these lock back, then I'm going to go ahead and keep this H2 buffer in. All right. back every time um i thought that i had an empty mag on that second one but i didn't so uh looks like the h2 buffer works and it definitely helps to recoil over the standard buffer i'm able to control the gun better with the h2 and even better than the uh the heavy so the standard buffer definitely had more recoil h2 staying in and again this is a air precision 14 and a half inch pin and welded with a carbine length gas system. And um, one thing I did here with the, uh, what I was looking at buying originally was the Bravo Company 14 and a half with the mid-link system. And that's uh, designed to run very smooth. And what I heard was happening with that is guys were having to get a lighter buffer in order to cycle um, lower powered ammo. So uh, I don't mind to shoot pretty much anything that I put in it. So uh, this looks like this system's gonna work. All right, guys, thanks. Have a good one.